Okay, so, same pre-planning again. You can see on screen if you need to copy it. And roll this. Go straight into it. Have a good time. Try and beat the heist. Go to the camera room. Yeah, my plan is to go to the camera room. I just haven't got there when I've been caught. Cameras are a must for this heist, taking them down. Like, the cameras are just far too inconvenient to not take them down. Okay. So, first objective here is opening alarm boxes and find the one we need. Right. You'll know it's the one you need when a fist icon appears and you can smash it and destroy the uh, the wiring inside. This is not our one. We're going to try this one. This is the one. Smashed. Done. Now, I'm going to go the long way around here. Like this. Go around here. Now, we need a key card to get into the basement door. And the key card is always behind the room over here. Careful. There's no guards here. No civvies that can see me. Oh, there is a civvy there. So, I'm just going to... Position myself here instead. In we go. Find our camera. There it is. I'll just loop it for the sake of safety. I probably don't need to, but out of habit. Our key card is somewhere in here. It's not in there. It could be in that drawer, but it's not. So it's in these lockers. There it is. Gotcha. Now wait for that civvy to pass. And jump through the window. Nice and easy. So now go along here. Slide right through here. Open this. You don't know where our guard is. He's over there somewhere. So we're clear. And I'm not beating my best time. I think my best time is like 1 minute 22. Just about best time getting in here. I'm I kind of like speedrunning that section. Right, so. This warehouse door here is opened by the lever here. That is the same place every time. It never moves. But if you pull it, guards will sometimes go back over and pull it down again. So the warehouse door can close. So my advice... Don't bother opening the lever until you're actually going into that segment. And I'm not going in there just yet. Because what I'm going to do next is explain how to get the code into the vault once I get into that area. I love how the Twitch chat will really be enjoying me repeating the same things here. They'll be able to recite it. You'll, what you'll see if you're watching the, the Twitch stream is just basically the chat repeating back what I'm saying at the same time. Because they know what's coming. So, I've turned the lights on in this room now. There are a whole bunch of people in that room and I need them to be in here. Switching the lights on moves everyone into this room. Nice and simple. So I'm going to open this door. And there is a guard here that I want to kill. And I'm going to do my best to kill when I get an opening. But it's not going to be just yet. Okay, cool. We go up here. And we open this door. Alright. So, I'm going to explain now how the code works. Let's just get you on the ground. Cool. Got the key keychain. Now, if you're playing this loud, you'll need a blowtorch and a crowbar, possibly. Crowbar is here. Blowtorch is there. They have different spawns, but they're all inside this room. So, you just got to look around. Now... To get into the vault, it's a four-digit code as per usual, payday two. Four codes, 15-minute intervals begin at the top of the hour, one, two, three, four. What this means is, according to the clock on the wall here, the code is associated with the time in the heist. So, looking at the minute hands, the hour doesn't matter, it's always between seven and eight. The minute, if it's between 12 and three, you want code one. If it's between three and six, you want code two. Between six and nine, you want code three. Between nine and 12, you want code four. Where are each of those four codes? Well, there are pieces of paper that you etch out. As you can see. Now, in this playthrough, I need code 2 because my minute is between 3 and 6. Code 1 is 3816. We don't want that. We want code 2. Again, between 3 and 6. So, around the area, we need to find these etches. This is code 2. Bingo. 5434. Twitch chat, if you please, remind me of that code. 5434. Now, I need to wait for an opening to get out of here via the guards. And hope that the guard in that other area there, that one that almost spotted me, who is over there, yeah. doesn't see me. Because he's going to cause me a world of problems if he does. Cool. Let him go in there. That's it. Bugger off. And we've pulled this lever. Around here. Okay. Now, what I need to do is try and get into this security room. Hmm. Gotta be careful how I play this, because it's not gonna work very easily without a key card, and I need a key card. What I'm gonna try and do here. Go into this room. There you go, that's the warehouse door closing. There's usually a key card in this room. Bingo. I don't know what I need this for, but I'm gonna hack it anyway. Uh I haven't got that far on the heist before, so. <laughs> and our cameras are down. Cool. Happy. That makes me a lot happier. Now, I will need to find another keycard around in the map, but... Oh! Oh! 
Ooh. Got a bit worried there, but we're okay. I'll get this guy. And we're done. Now, my other guard might see him in a moment, but that's okay. We deal with the pager and we take it from there. They turned the computer off. Okay, I've no idea what that was for. Doesn't matter. We're fine. Oh, that got very, very close to my liking. But we have got the cameras down. We needed a key card. We got it off that guy. I think it's always that guy over there with that, that isn't a security guard, the armed, um, the armed triad member. It seems like it's always him. Might be wrong there, but I'm just getting that vibe. Also, I need to move those body bags. I'm well aware of that. Otherwise, guards are going to keep coming in and keep spotting them. But what I'm going to do is try and get them both into the camera room. Might not be easy because I know there's a... This guy here. Just don't shoot. Ugh. I had the weirdest dream last night. All right, so this will be my third pager. Was replaced by an actual hamburger, and then people started calling me Hamburger Head. What was the code? 5434. Yeah, 5434. Thank you very much, chat. Some people are putting 5435 because they think they're proper funny, teasing me and being like, hey, it's 5435. Lol, it's going to be so funny when the streamer gets the code wrong. The look on his face will be epic. <laughs> no, it won't be epic. Please don't do that. It's not nice. <laughs> okay. So now we just need to get all those bags moved in. I want to be very careful here. And then what I'm going to do is take the keycard I've got over to the vault door, put the keycard in, and then type in the code of 5434. And beyond that point, I'm I'm clueless. I haven't got that far in the stealth yet. So you're going to learn on the job, Troy. I know, how exciting. Wow, everyone gets to watch me probably fail again. Hopefully not. I'd like to get it through this time. Because I like this heist, and I don't want to keep failing it. Okay. So we're going to quickly just scan for enemies using Sixth Sense. Where are our enemies? Please tell me. The ding. Just one guy there. So we let him move. I think I've got rid of like all the guards in this area. <laughs> okay. okay. Five, four, three, four. Five, four, three, four. Bingo. And we're in. One minute time lock. We wait for that to pass. Cool. Press. Oh. Oh. White House objective returning. Hello, sailor. Not seen... I was wondering what these were for. Well, then. So, yeah, presumably something in there... Something to do with in there is going to involve cutting wires again. Ooh. Interesting. Well, we've just got to wait for this to take down anyway. So, while you're all here watching on the YouTube video, go subscribe to my Twitch. Or follow it, but also subscribe if you want. But, you know, at uh, twitch.tv slash redarchalive, where this video was recorded. Thank you very much. And uh, Twitch chat, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. If you'd like to subscribe, please do too. Sorry, I'm a sellout. I'm, I'm here to make money, okay? Sue me. I want to make this a career. I need money to do that. <laughs> okay, seriously. Ten seconds left. I, I'm wondering. I think it might be something to do with inside this vault area. to Disabling, like, electrics on the gate or something. Because I know there is a taser on the gate sometimes that can electrocute you. It might be linked to that. Oh. Oh, there we go. We're good. Look at the wires in the office. Ah. Find the blue and green. I need to hack the blue and green wires. Gotcha. There's our blue. we got to find our green. But there's not many people around here, so hopefully this won't be too difficult. Because <laughs> I've basically killed everyone. Way! Hey! Right, is this green? Green! Hello. Thank you very much. And we're in. I like that. I like when they reuse objectives from other heists that actually fit, rather than just doing it for the sake of it. And now we have the keys. We get into here, using the keys we picked up from the guy in that room. And somewhere in here, using the crowbar, there will be... <laughs> First try, of course. Our dragon statue. So, now we need to get this out of here. This is going to be the hard part. Trying to get this dragon statue out, because I haven't tried moving around with this in stealth. I don't imagine it's going to be too easy. But we're going to make it work. Because this is where I am going to be epic. Should be a zip line somewhere that I paid for. But I don't know where the zip line is. So I'm just going to pretend it doesn't exist. And just move on with my life. Guard there. Let him pass. Slide up the stairs. Oh, you had to stay there, didn't you, bud? Did you really have to go there? Of all places? Really, chief? Go on, move, please. Be nice. No, not there. That's not helpful. I mean, I could just kill this guy if I need to, but I'd rather not if I can help it. Lower your weapon. Okay. That's not ideal. Oh, I'm such a well, we used our last pager. I didn't want to do it, but you know what? I had it spare. It's fine. It's all right. In terms of where the body will be seen, I think if I leave it here, it won't be a problem. I think. I don't know that for sure, but I'm thinking it won't be a problem. But then again, 
Hmm. Oh, I have no idea. I'm just going to hope for the best to leave it there. Right. Up the stairs we go. Let's leave. Problem is, I don't have a, um... A what's his face? Oh, now. I need to try and get out of this section. I'm going to try and open this door. I'm not sure who's going to be on the other side, though. So, cam uh, Sixth Sense, can you tell me? Are there armed NPCs? Just guards. Good. Sometimes armed NPCs can be out here. That causes more of a problem. But I haven't got a spare pager, so I cannot afford to screw this up now. Cannot afford to screw this up. There are two guards out here, so I need to know where the second one is located. I don't know where that is. I've got to be very, very careful here. God, stay alive. I want him to go left, ideally, so I can go and figure out if anyone's on the right. Oh, go on. God, yes. What? Good man. <gasps> there are armed NPCs there. Fine, I'm just going to sneak along. Is there a guard up here? If there is, we've, we've, the, the run's over. We failed. We're good. Oh, hello, mama. Right, where's the escape? Let me out. Please let me leave. Go on. <gasps> you bet your ass I'm going to leave, Locke. Let's get the hell out of here. Come on, come on, come on. Imagine I get spotted now after all this. All right, Sivvy's there. I'm just going to go around like this. Cross the street. Perfect and that's how it's done. <laughs> oh, I'm very happy about that. On the night it comes out, we get the solo stealth. Never done it before. Very happy with that. Very, very happy. Took me a few too many attempts, but whatever. So uh, while I'm here, chat, if you could all like and subscribe, please. And uh, stay tuned for more Payday content. Thank you very much. New Payday video on Friday or Saturday, I don't know. Payday 2 tier list. Going to be very funny to see the reactions to that. Thanks for watching and take it easy.